app crash. Hey guys, welcome to my uh, sunroom. Hey Chris. Hey Evans. Hey, hey Sandra. Dave. <laughs> Hi Dave. So uh, Chris, where are you dialing in from? Uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. Stuff in Edmund. I'm calling from the London, the United Kingdom today. Cool, and me and Sandra are here in Ireland. Hey, Sandra. Hey. Okay, guys, so what we're going to talk about today is some, some photogrammetry. Um, I'm going to show you how photogrammetry is made, and then we're going to look at some really interesting models. So we're going to actually start off with a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a video screen uh, above my arcade cabinet there. So let me, uh, let me bring in that screen. So this is a... This is a really cool video. I think you guys will like it. So can you see the video? Yeah. Hey, yes. Let me, let me just play that for you. It's for drones is to help create 3D models, thanks to special software programs that can turn aerial images into digital spatial models. Here's what you need to know about 3D models of an object created by plotting individual points in 3D space along the X, Y, and Z axes by using an algorithm or by scanning a physical object. And this is where drones come in. Drones are essentially airborne scanners that can be used to okay, turn guys, large objects, such as buildings, video, right? construction sites, or simply ah, large thanks. land area angulation process will be. The result is accurate point locations plotted in 3D space, which is exactly what you need to create. Okay guys, so now that we watched that video presentation, I'm actually gonna bring in um, one of those drones so you can see in a bit more detail. So I've actually left one up here. And now- Oh, uh, <laughs> There you go, so this is actually- Go ahead, yeah, Edmund, go ahead. ahead. Thanks. Wow, and this is about life size, isn't it? It is, yeah. There you are, Chris. Next, what I'm going to show you is actually the process of creating scans. Now, I created this scan earlier today, so I'm actually going to place... I have a little Deadpool model. You can't see him yet, but I'm placing them on my table. And I scanned them earlier on, and I'm going to cut in some video of me scanning him. But I'm actually going to bring in the model. So, uh, let me get that for you now. There he is. So he's a little bit bigger than the actual thing That's I scanned. Great. Wow, check that out. And oh, actually, very cool. I actually got one of the animation team to do a little, little bit of tweaking. Oh, wow. Oh, you can only yes. Do that with mixed reality. <laughs> yeah, that's really cool. Me, guys, models. I'm seeing the back of them. There you go. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a 3D model. This is a scan made it from the guys at River and um, using drones. So maybe Chris, you'll be able to Great. describe a little bit when it comes in. You're going to see the drone starting off. Oh, yes. I recognize this model for, from our friends over at River. They, uh, this is what we call a rapid scan. They sent up some drones for the G7 summit, captured the environment, and then brought it in within hours to be able to collaborate from around the world. Looks like uh, these are actually uh, the residential uh, apartments right here. Great, great view from this spot. Uh, swimming pool. Have you ever visited that place, Chris? I have not, I'd love to. Check it out, we got a beach, this is all beachfront property here. Cool. I'm going to throw some water on there. <laughs> okay, guys. What's cool is a lot of those vehicles were still there when we uh, actually collaborated. It's that quick. What's that beachfront property? <laughs> the high-priced beachfront property. 